The painter Pablo Picasso had two wives and many mistresses, but Marie Therese Voltaire may have been his ultimate model and muse. It was the greatest love of his life. He absolutely adored her. For nearly three decades, Marie Therese inspired some of his greatest work. Two of Picasso's portraits of her have sold for or been valued at more than a hundred million dollars each. He had her in mind always, all the time. Everything relates to her. When he was painting landscapes, he was painting her. He was absolutely obsessed by her. John Richardson befriended Picasso in the 50s. So this is you. That's me. And there's Picasso on the steps of La Californie, the great villa at, at Cannes. The author of a multi-volume biography of the artist, Richardson is curator of a new show at New York's Gagosian Gallery, devoted to the love affair of Picasso and Marie Therese. How did they meet? He picked her up. It was outside of Paris department store in 1927. She was 17, he was 45. You have an interesting face, the artist told her. I am Picasso. The name meant nothing to her, but. She liked his, the, his tie, she remembered very well. She liked his tie and he had a nice smile and he, and he was very seductive, Picasso. And a week later, she was his mistress. What do you think she saw in him? She saw someone who was kind, who paid attention to her, who thought she was beautiful. She is co-curator of the exhibition, and if you see a resemblance, well... So this is your grandmother? Yes. Diana Widmeyer Picasso is the granddaughter of the artist and Marie Therese. When you started looking at this as an art historian, yeah. did you... If I look, if I see myself in the picture? Yourself or something about your grandmother? Well, I think it's almost like if I feel I'm with Picasso and Marie Therese at the same time. The only moving image of Marie Therese comes from a souvenir flip book of 48 photographs. Where was this taken? In Paris, you know, the, you used to have these cameras in, uh, on, along the Grand Boulevard. A note in the flip book suggests Picasso was with her that day. It almost feels that Picasso is guiding her in the way she turns the profile. Marie Therese at first did not appear physically in his paintings of her. This is a, essentially a coded, yes? It, it certainly is in code. You see, you have the initials M.T. Marie Therese in the back, and you have Picasso's hand in a silhouette in white in the background. And the reason for the, the code is what? Well, to keep, to keep Marie Therese from being spotted in his work by his extremely jealous wife. <laughs> Picasso's first wife, Olga, was a former Russian ballerina. When I love a woman, Picasso once said, that tears everything apart especially my painting. This, I think, is one of the most beautiful images Picasso ever did of Marie Therese. He knew her, her look by heart, but just seeing her lying on the grass, she liked to sleep and so on, would inspire a painting like this one. Picasso and Marie Therese never married, but they had a daughter, Maya. Two months after her birth, Picasso met Dora Maar, who would become his next mistress. Was there a breakup with Marie Therese, or did she just sort of fade out of the picture? Oh, she faded out of the picture. I mean, Marie Therese uh, remained totally, totally in love with Picasso, I mean, until her dying day. At Picasso's death in 1973, an abstract sculpture of Marie Therese was placed over his grave. Why do you think he wanted that sculpture on his grave? I think he saw Marie Therese as his real wife. And she was the one person of all the women in his life who had given him the most love, the most understanding. Fifty years after their first meeting, Marie Therese took her own life. For the muse, there was no living without the artist. <laughs>